Welcome back. Um, in this part of our demonstration, I would like to explain some of the technology used for making iBeacons uh, a reality. Um, so what we see here in front of us is a flowchart which explains the steps we have just demonstrated in the previous clip. Um, so basically what happens is when we start the app, um, it starts off with the starting screen. Uh, and the moment the customer walks into a store, he connects actually to the region of the first beacon. Um, now, when that happens, uh, a couple of things already uh, are fired off. First of all, in HANA, a RESTful service is fired off to check if the customer already exists. Um, if it's a new client, it actually stores the um, credentials or let's say the unique uh, device ID into HANA. Uh, if it's an existing client, uh, then automatically the system checks if the record already exists in HANA. If it exists, we also get a personalized welcome message. Um, so when the customer actually enters the store, there's also some other thing which is happening, is that actually we are registering his visit to the store. Uh, we do that on a couple of, uh, of elements. Most importantly, we're actually uh, recording the timestamp of, uh, of the visit. And of course, when he exits the, um, let's say the store, we also update that. So actually we know how long somebody has been in the store. And of course we have, are doing some analytics on that. Um, so our customer gets a, uh, yeah, well, basically after the register of the visit, uh, he gets a welcome message. And he also is told that there is something special for him waiting in aisle three. Uh, in aisle three, basically, we have a television set set up, which is beacon number two. Uh, and at that beacon, we have a special discount. Now, the first time our customer actually goes into the, uh, uh, yeah, let's say, to the aisle, um, it's checked if the customer has been at the television set before. In any case, it records a visit to the product, uh, but it also checks if the customer has been there before. Now, should he exit the region, so in that case, should he walk away from the television set and walk into back into the store, uh, he actually gets a message saying, okay, we have something special waiting for you. So he's actually triggered to go back to his, uh, to his product. Now, the moment he walks back to his product, uh, the system registers that this guy is, or well, our customer is actually, uh, let's say, uh, interested in our product. Uh, but he probably needs a little extra push in order to make the purchase. Uh, and the way we do that is we actually generate a, uh, a passcode or basically a coupon code, uh, which is supplied by Passlot, which is one of our service providers. Um, and it's automatically updated into, um, into the iPhone of the, uh, of the customer. Now, a couple of things are actually checked. Um, Actually, when we create that coupon, we do that on the fly, and all the details belonging to that coupon are read also from HANA. Uh, so the amount of discount, the price, uh, and of course, we're also registering all the information from that coupon code. So we know exactly which customer has which coupon against which discount against what price, and well, etc., etc. So this is what this part of the flowchart is actually saying when our customer walks away. You can also ask for assistance, by the way, because this scenario is basically a scenario where there is not too much human interaction anymore. So we really try to make an automated shopping experience uh, where only when you really want to have somebody present, like a sort of an Apple Store concept, you press a button in the app, and the moment you do that, actually somebody will come over to you and help you out. So you can see the customer receives a coupon code here. And then actually the customer buys the television set. Now when the television set is bought, automatically of course a sale is registered in HANA. Um, so basically the product is put into his basket. Now of course his customer can do two things. He can walk away out of the store, not being interested, even though he, he pressed the button. That's what we call missed sales. Or he just follows, let's say, the line and goes into the cashier's desk and he basically um, yeah, pays for his, uh, for his goods. And also our analytics, of course, follow if somebody actually paid for the, for the television set. 
uh, and also how many times he did not basically yeah, left the store to go to the to a competitor most likely um, so when the, the customer actually walks up to the uh, to the to the cashier's desk uh, the system knows by looking into HANA that this person has bought a television set now of course we try to have some extra sales and that means that besides giving him a uh, television set we also say to him that he can actually buy an extra item which is an HDMI cable for only a couple of euros um, so in case he chooses that he also presses the sales button to buy the HDMI cable uh, and ultimately the sale is updated again uh, and by the way the cashier's desk is beacon number three also in the final step of the purchase actually our membership card is scanned and that membership card is a card which is automatically updating HANA as well so when we scan the, the membership card actually what we're saying is that we're digitally paying for the items and also the membership card is actually being debited let's say so that's an automatic process altogether and of course the final step when the customer actually leaves the store of course we register again that he also exits the store and we update the RESTful services by using a um, put message right now let's take a look at some of the analytics belonging to this scenario hi and welcome back again so just after the explanation of, um, of the demo with the flowchart, I would like to show you some of the setup we have in the system. Um, so first of all, we have, uh, of course, some views which we have created and some tables. Now, if you look at the tables we have, it's a fairly simple concept, even though we store all the information required. We have customer data showing, of course, the customers. We have offer data, which is actually, um, yeah, let's see, oh, showing us, um, yeah, basically the information belonging to a certain product. So we can update HANA, and then automatically the coupon codes which we generate are automatically updated. We have a pass slot table, which is more or less, yeah, storing the information coming from the passes. We have some product data. Um, which stores, yeah, master data for the product. We have product visit, which actually stores the product um, visit. So when our customer goes to the television set, that is recorded automatically. We have a sale, of course, which is recording the sale of the product. And we have a last but not least, we have a store visit, which is actually recording when somebody enters and exits the store. Now, if you look at the... Um, views which are belonging to that we've made all calculation views out of it uh, which are yeah just fairly straightforward uh, attaching master data elements as well as um, transactional data um, right so if we go to the analytics so we have three cockpits which we created and we used uh, Lumira for that and especially the latest version of Lumira really has the possibility of making cockpits which are a sort of management dashboards let's say where we have stored all the information coming from our tables so the first one I would like to show you well let's just start with the top one being the sales cockpit um, so the connection is made to HANA now automatically um, and this is the actual sales cockpit we have created so a couple of things are interesting. Of course, we would like to see what the sales are per customer. And you can see that we have quite some famous people coming into our store and also some not so famous people. Um, this is a very important part of the demonstration and also of the cockpit is the missed sales per customer. So there's actually the sales which was, uh, let's say, uh, recorded via the app. So somebody said, I would like to have that product, product, but actually the customer did not pay for the goods. Uh, he went to the competitor most likely of course we would like to know how many of us uh, which item we have sold uh, and of course we also have some 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 possibilities to make some analysis now uh, a fun analysis could be for instance what's the differentiation between men and women buying goods 
well that is um, some of the let's say controls we can put in and this is of course Lumira so it's completely flexible but again this is quite important that we actually know how much sales we missed so now let's get back to another demonstration which is the pass slot cockpit uh, so I explained that we're actually automatically generating coupons on the fly which are then stored into SAP HANA so what we see here for instance is that we are calculating the average discount and the average price of our products so because we are fully dynamic uh, in the way we are creating coupon codes and also prices in our scenario it could well be that um, somehow a competitor is having a discounted sales now let's say that we want to adjust our prices we simply do that in SAP HANA and then automatically all the sales are automatically yeah, let's say updated with a new price and of course we can also take a look at the average price and also the average discount uh, and we store that actually per pass which we generate which we generate so as you can see the average discount is changing as we go along and also so let's take an off just for fun and we go back to the start well we see that this is interesting so this is a normal type of sale 20% discount in this case it's a bit off it's 50% discount and this one seems to be a bit strange we have a price of 10 and a discount of 50 so this would actually be a, an error which we can detect by looking at our pass slot cockpit and of course also the number of passes now as you can see this is a bit off but apparently Mrs. Mr. Rutter has, uh, has had a lot of discounts in the past and he's a very frequent visitor of our store so let's go to the final one uh, was it the visit cockpit so if I actually execute that one it's connecting to SAP HANA again in real time um, so what we see here is a couple of things we see here the duration and the average duration of every single customer which has been to our store and this is in seconds by the way so we see that Mr. Konijnenburg himself has 86,000 seconds which he spent in the store and on average he spends about 14,000 seconds so now we can see that that's more or less the same everywhere is that people have uh, long visits in our store now of course we can also adjust our analysis and our products based on that information and when people are long in us in a store of course we can give them more offers and more discounts and more you know, try to get more sales out of them so it's an interesting view to see uh, which of the people really like our store and are really often there uh, and that can also be seen here of course in the number of visits so who, who yeah, visited the store the most frequently and of course also interesting to see if they spend a lot of time in the stores so a lot of visits long time in the store means that we're actually having some very good customers which we might have to or much, which we might want to pamper a bit more uh, and last but not least we have the customers currently in store so apparently we have three customers currently in store and it's important to know that we're actually checking if the uh, timestamp out is blank so if the timestamp out is blank our person is still walking around in our store so actually we know which persons are available or which persons are actually in the store at the moment uh, which makes it also easier for our salespeople for instance to go to that customer and ask if we can help them more well whatever you get the idea so that's just a couple of the analysis we have in the system based on the data we store coming from the app.